calamities become feeble when accompanied by husnul dhan thinking perfect thoughts of allah having perfect thoughts of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a majestic worship of the heart and it is believing in what befits allah regarding names characteristics and actions and believing in what necessitates it from great narrations like believing that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mercy upon his worshippers that deserve mercy and forgives them when they turn back and repent and he accepts from them their acts of obedience and worship as well as the belief that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the absolute wisdom in what he has preordained and decreed whoever thinks husn al-dhan is not accompanied with actions then they are mistaken so if a man has land and it is hoped that he has a return of fruits that will benefit but he does not harvest it despite his husn al-dhan and what he will receive in fruits from it as others do when they cultivate and harvest and water it people will categorize him as the most foolish similarly husn al-dhan in Allah ta'ala while leaving obligations and disobeying Allah and whoever assumes that they that they then have fallen into selfish arrogance and he erroneously felt secure from the plan of Allah Ibn al-Qayyim may Allah have mercy on him said the difference between husn al-dhan and selfish arrogance has been made clear and indeed husn al-dhan if it leads to good actions and provokes it then it is correct but if it leads to not working and drowning in sins then it leads to self arrogance and the basis is that the muslim should always make husn al-dhan in their rabb meaning lord the first being doing acts of obedience so in the qudsi hadith <laughs> abu huraira reported the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah says i am just as my subject thinks of me when he remembers me by allah Allah is more pleased with the repentance of his subject than one of you unexpectedly finds in the desert his lost camel. He who comes closer to me once ban, I come closer to him a cubit, and he who comes closer to me a cubit, I come closer to him a fathom. And if he comes to me walking, I come to him running. And who truly reflects upon this scenario with true reflection, then he would know husnullah in Allah is indeed husnul amad. meaning perfect deeds as for the second scenario the muslim is obliged to have husn al-dhan in his rabb during hardships and death jabir ibn abdullah may allah be pleased with him reported i heard the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying 3 days before his death let none of you die unless he has good expectations from allah 